Hello, comic book guys and gals, and welcome to Comic Mag Musings. I'm your host, Bill Miller. Welcome to the ninth installment of our Top 500 Pre-Code Horror Comics. The floodgates began to open in 1949 with the first horror comic from the 1950s most prolific horror comics publisher, Atlas Comics, the decade's forerunner of Marvel Comics. While horror had been an element in the 1940s superhero stories from the original predecessor company, Timely Comics, through the war years when zombies, vampires, werewolves, and even python men were to be found working for the Nazis and the Japanese, the publisher entered the horror arena full tilt with Amazing Mysteries No. 32 in May of 1949, continuing the numbering of the defunct superhero series Submariner Comics, followed by the superhero anthology Marvel Mystery Comics, becoming the horror series Marvel Tales with No. 93 in August of 1949, and the final two issues of Captain America Comics becoming the mostly horror fiction Captain America's Weird Tales No. 74 and 75 in October of 1948 and February of 1950 the latter of which did not contain Captain America at all. Harvey Comics followed suit with its costume crime fighter comic Black Cat by reformatting it as the horror comic Black Cat Mystery with issue number 30 in August of 1951. Before we get to our comics, let's have a quick reminder of the criteria. The comics had to have been published prior to carrying the Comics Code Authority seal and the title had to primarily be a horror title. Some of the eligible titles are from other genres, but they switch to a horror context for a period of time. Lastly, these are not necessarily either the most popular or the most expensive horror books. They are simply the best horror comic book covers, in my humble opinion. It was almost painful to rank numbers 340 to 321, but it was a visual treat. I made a series of 25 videos with 20 entries in each one. So please join me for the next 20 covers, as we count down the top 500 pre-code horror comic book covers. All right, starting off our list at number 340, we have Haunt of Fear, issue number eight, from EC Comics out in August of 1951. The cover artist is Al Feldstein. A shrunken head cover by the jack-of-all-trades artist Al Feldstein. Hiding in the shadows at number 339 is Forbidden Worlds, issue number 24, from ACG. Published in December of 1953. Cover art duties handled by Ken Bald. Lovers returning from the dead is a common and very popular theme used within PCH cover art and stories. At number 338, we have Marvel Tales, number 118, from Atlas slash Marvel. Produced in September of 1953. Cover art chores handled by Saul Brodsky. Great blacks illuminated by lantern lights perhaps reveal the Incredible Hulk prior to his discovery of steroids and a consistent gym regimen. Leading out at number 337 is Voodoo, issue number 9, from Farrell hitting the shelves in May of 1953. Unfortunately, the cover artist is unknown. A purple background, a creative ghost, and a warlock brewing up a kettle of evil. At number 336 is Web of Evil, issue number one, from Quality Comics hitting the stands in November of 1952. Yet again, we do not know the identity of the cover artist. Such incredible draftsmanship, especially with respect to the witch and the primary skull. Crawling in at number 335 is Spellbound, number three 
from Atlas slash Marvel. Out in May of 1952. The cover artist is Russ Heath. A woman in a red dress, evocative of the famous Ditko Thing cover. At number 334 is Journey into Mystery, issue number 15, also from Atlas slash Marvel. Produced in April of 1954. Cover art by Saul Brodsky. Is somebody grilling? Well, someone is about to be, as our zombie is ready to fling hot coals into the coal bin within which our victims are trapped. Appearing at number 333 is Mystic, issue number 22, from Atlas slash Marvel. Hitting the stands in August of 1953. Cover art by Russ Heath. Such bold, beautiful colors. This is one of my favorite mummy covers. At number 332 is Mr. Mystery, issue number 5, from Stanley Morse. Hitting the shelves in May of 1952. The cover art is by Tony Mortallero. We have a creepy red hand reaching for our victim who is in our sleeping gown. This could certainly qualify as a lingerie cover. Scaring into number 331 is Spook, issue number 30, from Star Publications, out in October of 1954. The cover artist is Jay Disbrow. Searing flames, a plethora of unique creatures, and a purple ghoul are the highlights of this image. Frightening us at number 330 is Journey into Unknown Worlds, issue number 18, from Atlas slash Marvel. Published in May of 1953. Cover art by Russ Heath. The witches said that the broth needs some oregano, a pinch of parsley, and oh yeah, a human being. At number 329 is Mr. Mystery, issue number 16, from Stanley Morse, produced in April of 1954. We believe the cover artist is Tony Mortallero. We have a woman in bondage at the mercy of one of the creepiest mummies you'll see. Slashing into number 328 is Vault of Horror, issue number 34, from EC Comics, published in January of 1954. Cover art by Johnny Craig. A bondage cover where the creep factor is set to 10. Many people miss the second dastardly villain in this image. Chopping away at number 327 is Strange Tales, number 18, from Atlas slash Marvel. Published in May of 1953. The cover artist is Russ Heath. We have a gang of torch-wielding townspeople in a desperate search for Sarah Osborne. There's nothing quite as invigorating as a good old-fashioned witch hunt. At number 326 is Journey into Unknown Worlds, issue number 11, also from Atlas slash Marvel. Hitting the stands in June of 1952. The cover art is by Bill Everett. An incredibly rendered transformation into a blood-sucking, not lawyer, 
but that. And those purples are spectacular. Appearing at number 325 is Strange Tales, issue number 26. Again from Atlas slash Marvel. Hitting the shelves in March of 1954. The cover art is by Carl Burgos. What a well-drawn image. A man in bondage, a couple of skulls lying around, and a wonderful orange knife-wielding phantasm. Spiriting in at number 324 is Spook, issue number 27, from Star Publications. Out in January of 1954. Cover art by L.B. Cole. A groovy floating head cover with a ghastly sea creature and dynamic colors. Crawling in at number 323 is Nightmare, issue number 3, from St. John, produced in October of 1953. Unfortunately, the cover artist is unknown. Simple yet well designed, the woman's fear is palpable and well crafted painted covers are always a bonus. Leading out at number 322, we have The Dead Who Walk, issue number zero, from Avon, produced sometime in 1952. Although we're not positive, the cover artist is believed to be Tex Blaisdell. A woman in a red skirt encounters people that have been waiting in line for a ride at Disneyland. It is a long wait. And hiding in the shadows at number 321, we have Suspense Comics, issue number 12, from Continental, published in September of 1946. Cover art by L.B. Cole. What's to say other than this is a classic Cole hanging cover? And that will do it for numbers 340 through 321 as we count down the top 500 pre-code horror comics. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you got to see some books you either haven't seen before or haven't seen in quite some time. Please leave a comment and tell me your thoughts. Do I have some ranked too high or too low? Or there's some that shouldn't have made the list at all? I'd love to hear your feedback and don't forget to join me for the next installment as we count down numbers 320 through 301.